the Jeep Wrangler. It's an icon, right? I mean, this thing is sold all over the world, but nothing screams America like one of these things. And we've got one here in the shop today. It's 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara. And we're going to customize this one by actually taking something off instead of putting something on. What's interesting about that is that it's simple. It's just a decal here. These Wrangler Unlimited decals are on all the JKs and JKUs. Uh, you don't have to advertise what it is. Everybody knows what a Jeep is. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take these decals off and leave it nice and plain and simple on the side, just cleaning up the looks. Now, to do that, we've got a few tools that are here. Actually, there's one, two tools and some other stuff, and we're going to start off with a heat gun. This is essentially a glorified hair dryer. It's going to warm things up so that we can peel it off easily. To help it come off, this is a plastic razor blade. It's not a real razor blade. It's not sharp at all, uh, but this helps us get the edge up in place of uh, your fingernails. Then we've got some paper towel, some goo gone to help get the rest of the residual mess out of the way, a little bit of detail spray, and then a nice towel to, uh, to wipe everything down with. All right, you ready? Let's just jump right on into it here. This guy is going to warm up, and if you look, uh, it's going to start to get good and hot and red inside of there. So all we're going to do is just take a little bit of warmth to this just to soften it up a little bit. It won't take a whole lot, and in fact the key is to not overheat it, because if you get it too hot, the, um, uh, the adhesive actually won't want to peel off. It's going to want to stick to the door. So all I did was just to kind of take some of the surface heat off of there, or some of the surface temperature off of there, and warm it up just a little tiny bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come on in the corner here and get this going. Not bad. Just enough to get your fingernail up inside of there. If you're a fingernail biter, this is a good, a good reason to not bite your fingernails. There we go, just like that. And we got it coming. And you want to peel it nice and gently here. You can see there's going to be a little bit of residual on there. But that's okay. We can clean that up. What's most important is getting the plastic off of the fender right now. And you can see at the back side of it, a lot more of the, the goo wound up on the sticker. Now we're going to do the same thing on the unlimited one. Just kind of getting this thing up underneath there. Just so you can get that started. Just like that. Give it a little pull. There's definitely some goo on there, but that is what the goo gone is for. So now we've got the decals off. I mean, that's that's pretty simple here. I'm going to take a piece of paper towel, and I use paper towel intentionally because it actually has some abrasiveness to it. Not enough to scratch the paint, but just enough to kind of work your way into, into the adhesive that's on here. And I'm just going to kind of smear it on heavy at this point. And the trick is to let this stuff soak in for a moment. So through the magic of video editing, we're going to let that sit and soak for a moment. So this one's been a little more stubborn. And what I'm going to do is I'm putting a little bit of Goo Gone on the plastic razor blade here, and I'm just going to give it a little scrub. And you can actually see there's the adhesive that's starting to come up. It's kind of like a, almost like a gum, gum rubbery kind of material at that point. Scrape this back in this way. Because the chemical is softening it up. Just like that. Just bring this one in, get a little bit more here. And again, do not use a real razor blade. These plastic razor blades are fantastic for this. And we'll get all that goop off of there. Come back with the paper towel. Keep rubbing. We are done. It is all done, cleaned up out of here. All goo gone down, real nice there. Looks real good. It's perfectly smooth. You can feel it up underneath the hands. And it is good to go. Now, before we are done done with this one, we're going to take a little bit of detail spray. We're going to get the rest of that schmutz off of there. And just kind of give this a little wipey wipe right here. Just to clean it out. Flip that over. 
over my dusting. And just like that, ta-da, you have a plain fender. But in this world, where everything is all done up, it's kind of nice to see something simple and plain and different from everybody else's. So now, you've got that done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, you can always like and subscribe to the video channel. We're always working here in the shop, whether it's on cars or Jeeps or race cars or motorcycles or something like that's coming up. And uh, we'd love for you to join us on social media as well. Facebook and on Instagram at the T-H-E John Hammer. Easy and simple, right? I'll talk to you next time here from the shop.